quick video to show how to use some of the shapes right here. I just have the tutorial document that comes with ScreenFlow, and I have my shapes here. I've just downloaded them, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag one in right here, and maybe I want to have it highlight Mo. And so there Mo is, and maybe shrink it down some, bring it right there, and there it is. If I want to, if I want to have some movement, there's a couple of ways of doing this. One, I can go ahead and zoom out a couple of times, zoom out, zoom out, and start with my arrow over here, and then go to my video actions, add one, and just, oh, let's drag this at the beginning maybe, and drag this over here. And then when I go ahead and play this, it'll br bring it right over there. Pretty cool. Another way, though, if that seems like too much work, I'm going to put it where I want it. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead add a starting transition. Let's go ahead back to view 100% so we can see it. Actually, zoom to fit so we can see it. And I'm going to go ahead, right now I just have a fade. So that's not very exciting. But I can go ahead and select a different one. Maybe I want to do spin. And when I play that, really gets that arrow to show. Most of these transitions, I never knew what would I use them for. Going from one screen to the next, I don't like, but using a shape, if I want to highlight something, that works well. And so that's just a couple ideas of how to use those. You can also, by the way, use any PNG that you have. If I go and I look at my cursors, I could also do the same things. These don't have to be just used as cursors. I can get the magnifying glass, say, and drag that in. Let me go ahead and get rid of the arrow. And here's my magnifying glass, and I can go ahead and yeah, turn that around if I want to, make that this angle, and highlight it that way, or you know, whatever I want to do, any image you want to do. As you bring these images in, even if you delete them from your timeline, if you look at your media, there they are. And I can, if I want, just bring them all in and have those at my use. I don't even have to have that folder open. And then anytime I want to bring something in, oh, maybe I want my finder to be thinking something. I could have my little finder icon thinking something, go into text, add some text in there, and have a thought bubble pop up. And again, with that thought bubble, I could have it move in, I could have a transition, whatever I want to do. Now you have shapes easy enough to use, easy enough to bring in. Have fun with them.